campaign, and uh, even after your victory, uh, we've seen a sharp rise in uh, anti-Semitic um, um, anti-Semitic incident across the United States. And I wonder what do you say to those among the Jewish community in the States and in Israel and maybe around the world who believe and feel that your administration is playing with xenophobia and maybe racist tones. And Mr. Prime Minister, um, do you agree to what the President just said about the need for Israel to restrain and to, or to stop settlement activity in the West Bank? And a quick follow-up on my friend's questions. Simple question, do you back off from your vision to the end of the conflict of two-state solution as you lay out in Bar Ilan speech, or you still support it? Thank you. Well, I just want to say that we are, you know, very honored by the victory that we had, 306 electoral college votes. Uh, we were not supposed to crack 220. You know that, right? There was no way to 221, but then they said there's no way to 270. I, I and there's tremendous enthusiasm out there. I will say that um, we are going to have peace in this country. We are going to stop crime in this country. We are going to do everything within our power to stop long-simmering racism and every other thing that's going on, because a lot of bad things have been taking place over a long period of time. I think one of the reasons I won the election is we have a very, very divided nation. Very divided. And hopefully, I'll be able to do something about that. And I, you know, it was something that was very important to me. Uh, as far as uh, people, Jewish people, so many friends, a daughter who happens to be here right now, a son-in-law, and three beautiful grandchildren. Uh, I think that you're going to see a lot different United States of America over the next three, four, or eight years. Uh, I think a lot of good things are happening. And you're going to see a lot of love. You're going to see a lot of love. Okay? Thank you. I believe that the uh, issue of the settlements is not the core of the conflict, uh, nor does it really drive the conflict. I think it's an issue. It has to be resolved in the context of peace negotiations. Uh, and I think we'd also, we also are going to speak about it, President Trump and I, so we can arrive uh, at an understanding so we don't keep on bumping into each other all the time on this issue, and we're going to discuss this. Uh, on the uh, question you said, you just came back uh, with your question to the problem that I said. It's the label. What does Abu Mazen mean by two states, okay? What, what does he mean? A state that doesn't recognize the, the Jewish state a state that uh, basically is open for uh, uh, attack against Israel. You know, what are we talking about? Are we talking about Costa Rica or are we talking about another Iran? So obviously it means different things. I told you what are the conditions that I believe are necessary for an agreement. It's the recognition of the Jewish state and it's Israel's, Israel's security control of the entire area. Otherwise, we're just fantasizing. Otherwise, we'll get another failed state, another terrorist uh, uh, dic Islamist dictatorship that will not work for peace, but work to uh, destroy us, but also destroy any hope, any hope for a, a peaceful future for our people. So I've been very clear about those conditions, and they haven't changed. I haven't changed. If you read what I said eight years ago, it's exactly that. And I repeated that again and again and again. If you want to deal with labels, deal with labels. I'll deal with substance. And finally, one, if I can respond to something that I know from personal experience. I've known President Trump for many years. And to allude to him, uh, or to his people, his team, some of whom I've known for many years too. Can I reveal, Jared, how long we've known you? <laughs> well, he, he was never small. He was always big. <laughs> he was always tall. But I've, I've known the President, and I've known his family and his team for a long time. And there is no greater supporter of the Jewish people and the Jewish state than President Donald Trump. I think we should put that to rest. Thank you very much. Very nice. I appreciate that very much.